Well, hello, Michelle and Esther. Thank you so much for joining me in conversation today and for taking part in our service. We're speaking on the subject of change today. So I thought I'd ask you some questions about the change you've experienced during lockdown. Uh, Michelle, why don't we start with you? What kind of change have you experienced in your workplace as a TA? Um, so I work with special needs children. So we've worked, had mainly key worker children and vulnerable children and people whose parents might need a bit of respite. So I've been working mainly uh, with children with lots of different need types, um, lots of different children I don't know. And so I've had to adapt quickly to learn lots of new different things and new skills, uh, working with lots of adults and new other staff that I haven't worked with before. So um, it's been challenging, but it's been, it's been good. It's been useful. Yeah, thank you. Um, and how about for you, Esther, working as a nurse? Yes, I'm a nurse in, in the community hospitals. And yes, it's, um, you know, again, getting used to um, nursing COVID patients with uh, PPE, which can be very hot and stuffy wearing all these masks and um, face shields and things. And um, social distancing is sometimes not very easy with colleagues. And you have to kind of like, you know, uh, be, be, be intentional. And sometimes you're kind of moving back. And um, also every time I leave work, you have to, uh, I sanitize myself from top to toe. And when I come home, um, I then have a shower straight away, even before I can say hello to my husband. So, you know, so these are things you're very, very aware of um, infection. So I've had to yeah. try and keep myself as, um, you know, infection free as possible. And so far I've been well. That's Excellent. good. And how about in the home, ladies? What kind of changes have you experienced in, in home life? We'll start with you this time, Esther. Well, um, I've been doing a lot of, because I've had time, I've been doing a lot of house things which I've never done before for a long time, cleaning, painting, gardening, that sort of thing. Also I've had to adapt to change with, I haven't seen the family for um, six months or so since Christmas, so we've been Zooming the grandchildren, doing homework over Zoom, Zooming a lot of friends and things, yeah. having birthday parties and celebrations on Zoom. The things that, and shopping of course has been quite difficult at times, queuing up, sanitizing, you know, that sort of thing. Mm. But yes, and um, generally, really, it's, I've had to adjust to different things at home. Of course. Having the husband at home all the time because he can't go off to cricket, which is a cricket season. <laughs> so that's a change as well. <laughs> and how about for you, Michelle? What kind of changes have you experienced at home? Um, well, I'm lucky because I, I live with, I don't live on my own, so I live with Dave and Syra. So, um, you know, there's always been people at home, which has been really, really nice, but they've obviously been working from home and I've not really been working when I've been at home. Mm. So I've had lots of time to do lots of crafts and creative things, um, get, um, join in with Zoom quizzes, like Stedman family quizzes, which has been really nice. Mm. But a bit like Esther, I haven't seen my family since Christmas either. Yeah. So yeah, mm. it's adapting to things and um, yeah, lots of Zoom calls and teaching my mum how to video call as well. So yeah. Good. Just kind of... And you had to isolate for a period of time as well. What was that like? Mm. Um, well, we only had to isolate for a week, so it wasn't too bad, yeah. but um, I think it was just knowing that you can't go and see people, uh, not that I could anyway, but kind of knowing that we just had to stay at home for a week and I couldn't go out. So then when I could go out and I could go to the supermarket, you know, it was quite exciting and I could put makeup on and I put shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just little things like that suddenly become really exciting, even going to the opticians is an adventure. <laughs> so. And facing this change, we're people of faith. Uh, how has our faith helped us to cope in the midst of all this change? Let's start with you, Esther. Mm. Well, I believe that God has really been helping and protecting me to, um, to adapt to the changes that I've had to face. And I do believe that we can all learn new ways of doing things and not to be afraid. Um, I've had a lot of prayer car for my church family and for my own family. And, um, you know, when you think about it, change is part of life, whether there's a pandemic or not. And um, it's just a new normal. And I believe with God's help, we can get through this and we can do it. Amen. And how about for you, Michelle? Um, 
yeah like I, I struggle with change so at the beginning of all of this I was I really thought that I would really struggle and find it really hard but um, God's been with me and I yeah there's been times when it has been really tough and really hard but I've actually coped pretty well considering I think um, especially for me so I think kind of just being thankful that God's kind of been with me and kept me and like even with like when I get anxious about things God reminds me not to be afraid and not to fear because he's with me um, yeah and just be really thankful that knowing I think knowing that it's in God's hands and that God's in control like even when it seems like the world's gone mad that actually god god is king and god has power over all of this it's really important that's excellent thank you so much for you for taking the time to talk to me and to others today god bless you in your workplaces and at home too and hope to see each other in person mm. sooner rather than later too thanks again yeah okay bye 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 bye, bye.